Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have another book haul for you guys and hopefully this will be my last one in a little while because I'm not putting myself on a book buying ban but I'm definitely restricting my book buying habits. My goal for 2018 was to buy 30 books and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I, I definitely um, stepped across that line and it's probably around 50 or something right now. I haven't counted but that's my prediction. So today I have 12 books to talk about with you guys and let's just start. I collected these like in June, July. All of these books are in like a different order. It's just really random. So the first one that I have here on the pile, this one is so pretty. It is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It is the 20th anniversary edition and look at that. Ooh, it's so pretty. So the first book like Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was uh, black but with the same spray pages. But this one is like all blue and I love blue. It's my favorite color. I just finished my reread of this book like two days ago and I read the illustrated edition which was a whole different experience and I loved it so much. Um, but this is my third edition of the Chamber of Secrets that I own and it is beautiful. I adore it. I'm a Ravenclaw so this is the Ravenclaw edition. I didn't say that yet. I will keep on collecting all of the 20th anniversary editions because they are so gorgeous. Next up I have Save the Date by Morgan Matson. This is her newest release. This one came out I think at the end of May or somewhere in June. This is a signed first edition which I bought on Amazon. Morgan Matson is one of my favorite authors ever. I always love her contemporary stories and this one is a story that takes place during a weekend where Charlie her sister is gonna get married and everything that you can think of goes wrong with the wedding this whole book is like chaos but it's a lot of fun this book has something that you don't get a lot with young adult novels and that was that the main focus was on family because Charlie has this huge family with all these different persons and they have so many different personalities if you love Morgan Matson you should totally pick this one up if you love YA contemporary just go check out her because she's awesome Awesome. When I read that book, I realized that I only had one book left by Morgan Matson, which I still needed to own, and that one is Second Chance Summer. It's a little bit weird with the lighting. Okay, you can see it like this. This is from the Amazon Warehouse deal. I bought this paperback for four euros. I was so happy about this one, but this is definitely a little bit more of a different kind of contemporary novel. I think the main focus is still family, but it is really sad, apparently. I believe that we follow our main character, and her dad is ill, and this will be one of the last times that she and her family will go together as a whole family to her summer vacation house. If I'm in more of like a mood of like crying and like a good sad story, I will definitely pick this one up. Okay, so this book has a fun story. So this one is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. I'll, only this is the Dutch version, so it's called The Hamel in Its Ice. I got this book when I went to my very first kind of meeting that I had because of my booktube channel, which was so cool. So I was invited to a meeting for from um, bull.com or in Dutch bull.com which is a Dutch web shop which sells like everything that you can think of but they also sell books and what they did they invited a couple of like booktubers, bookstagrammers, just influencers in the book community and we went and brainstormed about how they could improve their online reading magazine and we also got a goodie bag and um, in my goodie bag I initially had another book a different book but then I switched with someone and that someone is by the way Sasha from uh, a bookworm's life she is a Dutch booktuber so I will leave her channel in the description bar down below. I always love her videos so go check her out. Um, she was getting a copy of this one already and I heard so many great things about this. Everyone was raving about this book so um, I got the Dutch version. I usually don't read books in Dutch anymore. I just love reading in English so much but for this book I'm definitely gonna make an exception. If you've seen my latest book haul you will probably think like what? You already bought this and that is The Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. If you remember in my 2018 releases book haul, I bought the paperback because the hardcover was 11 euros more expensive. But then I was just looking on Amazon and all of a sudden the hardcover was only 12 euros and I needed to have this one because I just, I prefer the feeling of hardcovers plus this one is also gorgeous underneath it. Everyone is talking about this book right now. I also just started reading it and I'm very excited to see what my own opinion is of the story. So if you guys want to, I am planning on doing some sort of like read with me type of review video for this one. So let me know in the the comments if you are interested in that to see if I think this book is worth the hype that it's getting. I have a very interesting book because I hadn't heard of this book before I just 
all of a sudden found it on Amazon, and that is Mondays Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. I usually don't pick up books like these because this is like a YA mystery type of novel, but this synopsis just intrigued me so much. Monday, Charles is missing and only Claudia seems to notice. Claudia and Monday have always been inseparable, more sisters than friends. So when Monday doesn't turn up for the first day of school, Claudia starts to worry. When she doesn't show for the second day or the second week, Claudia knows that something is wrong. Monday wouldn't just leave her to endure tests and bullies alone. With her grades on the line, Claudia needs her best and only friend now more than ever. But Monday's mother refuses to give Claudia a straight answer and Monday's sister April is even less help. As Claudia digs deeper into her friend's disappearance, she discovers that not one seems to remember the last time they saw Monday. How can a teenage girl just vanish without anyone noticing that she's gone and I've been really having like this urge to pick this one up because I just want to know what happened to Monday these two are also a lot of fun so I have two series in a trilogy the second book in this trilogy is the last of August and the third one is the case for Jamie both by Brittany Cavallaro the first one I have here on my bookshelf which is called a study in Charlotte and this is a it's kind of like a retelling or it's like heavily inspired by Sherlock you follow Charlotte and she is a descendant from Sherlock and Sherlock is one of my all-time favorite TV shows. It's so good and Sh Benedict Cumberbatch is amazing. I love everything about Sherlock so I'm hoping now that I have the full trilogy that I will like binge read this one and just enjoy it as much as I enjoy Sherlock the TV show. If that's possible, it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> I say check it out on Amazon as well if you are interested in these because the hardcovers are super cheap right now. I found another great deal on Amazon from the warehouse deals and this one is Autobiography by Christina Lauren. This one was again like 9 euros for the hardcover. There's only like a really big tier in this but I'm gonna fix it. This is an LGBTQ plus YA contemporary novel. I've heard amazing things about this novel and I just cannot wait to start reading it. I need to read a lot more uh, LGBTQ plus novels as well because I haven't really done that this year and it kind of makes me feel guilty. I also went to a really fun event in the Netherlands which was book related. It was a YA summer and glitter event in Eindhoven. We went to Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda or like Love Simon the movie which was awesome and they also sold books for like a kind of a discounted price. So I bought The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. This is also a LGBTQ plus YA novel. I think also about a bisexual girl. Like autobiography is about a bisexual boy. This one is about a bisexual girl. She's had so many crushes and those like guys and girls who she had a crush on never really like crushed back on her? Is that something you can say? I just feel the unrequited love with me as well. I usually like guys who, I don't know, have girlfriends or who don't like me. <laughs> so I feel like I can really relate to this main character. I enjoyed Simon versus the Homo Sapiens agenda, so I hope that I will enjoy this one a little more than that book. At that Dutch book event, we also got a free book, and this one is called Het Afscheid, or in English I would say The Farewell, by Jenna Blum and Sarah McCoy. So this is like a story after World War II, and people are trying to pick up their lives again. I don't know if I will pick up this one because it doesn't really intrigue me. It is super short though. It's 120 pages, but it's also Dutch. Dutch is not my favorite language to read in, so we shall see if I will pick this one up. Whew. And then the last book that I'm going to talk about is uh, a book that I received in my July Fairy Loot box. So if you haven't seen my unboxing of the July Fairy Loot, I will leave a link somewhere here on the screen and you can click it. But the book that was in the July Fairy Loot is Heart of Thorns by Barry Barton. And look at this. It's so pretty. If you want to know more about this book, I'd say go look it up on Goodreads or go watch my unboxing because I talk about this one a little bit. I think it's a gorgeous book. I hope it will be just as good as the outside is. So those were the 12 books that I collected over the past two months. So let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books and what your opinion was. I would love to know that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below to keep updated with all the videos that I post. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to that will also be in the description bar down below. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!